Right, I've had a couple of people ask about my Bantam electrical system. When I say a couple, it literally is a couple because I don't have thousands of subs and I'm not being bombarded by comments every day, which is nice. I've got the electric system in there. Uh, when I got the bike, it was a box of bits. All I had was this plate, which is the old uh, points plate. And the cam was missing and everything. And it was just it wasn't practical to redo it all. So I went for the electronic system. And the electric system I got has also got the alternator on for the 12 volt system, which is a little coil just in the back there. A couple of cables coming off. It's all a pre-built unit. It even comes with a seal and everything. So it just fits straight in. And it also comes with a new flywheel. I'll, I'll bung a picture up of all the bits that you get with it. Pull the cable off and it goes to various parts of the bike. So underneath the tank we have the coil fitted, which I also believe is the uh, brains for the system as well, which is a CDI system with its automatic advance and retard. It's not brilliant, doesn't give you a fantastic start, so you do need to give it a hell of a kick to actually get her running. But when she goes, she runs lovely. This is my little battery box which is bolted to a bit on the frame that I welded on. I know the Bantam Owners Club are going to hate me for that but to be honest I don't care. This is a 12 volt battery out of an alarm system. Only a little one. Doesn't need to be a lot. It just helps smooth the power supply a little bit and gives me a backup as well. If my engine cuts out or some sat the lights or whatever I'll, I will still have a set of lights so people might be able to see me but we all know what that's like. From the battery on the positive, it comes down, we've got an inline fuse, I think that's about 16 amp put in there, nothing serious. And then I've also put a kill switch in, so that allows me to turn the power on and off, mainly for the lights. The engine will run, the electronic system will work without all this being on. If I turn that on, I get tail lights at the back, you can just see there, the tail light going, I do have a brake light on it as well. You can't see that working very well because it's not very dark in here. These two yellow wires coming from the electrics unit actually go down to the rectifier regulator which I've bolted underneath. So that gives us our rectified DC supply of 12 volts from the AC coming from the alternator. Now I've got various switches and things. One thing I have also put on, key switch there, that puts the CDI to earth. So if I turn that on, you cannot start the bike on the electronic system. It's basically to stop somebody wandering up, just coming up, kicking the bike up and buggering off down the road because they won't be able to start it. It ain't going to stop them from picking it up and stealing it if it's not bolted down, but it's something. It helps. On the headlight, all I've got is a simple switch for high and low beam. That's all that does. And for my indicator mod, all we've got there is just a little thumb switch, just left and right. All running through the bars. M minimal wiring on there. Bring you around. As you can see, next to no wiring and just my crappy little earth connection there. So the whole frame is wide negative earth. And as usual on these old Bantams, the horn is a good old. So that is my Bantam electrical system. Complicated, isn't it? Thanks for watching.